Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, man, we back. Good Phil Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Errol Spence responds to Terrence Crawford like, shit, 13, 14 hours later. I don't know what he was doing last night. Maybe he was doing sit-ups. Maybe he was hitting the bag. Maybe he, he was enjoying the playoffs without the Dallas Cowboys. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, he trying to seem like, oh, he said you trying to make it seem like you a boss. And, and ain't nobody ever said he was a boss. You said you was your own boss. You know, but let's talk a little bit about what Errol Spence said, man. Appreciate everybody for tapping back in. Appreciate everybody rocking out with us. We too, did two streams yesterday, man. One early in the morning, one late at night. That wasn't the plan, but y'all know we covering the whole thing, man. Um, appreciate everybody supporting the movement. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And uh, keep sharing the videos, man. That's the best way to help the channel out, man. And I appreciate it. And check out our boxing playlist, boxing news, boxing rumors, prospect playlist, heavyweight, welterweight, middleweight, you name it. We got it, man. And, um, yeah, let's talk about what Earl Spence had to say, right? Let's get into it. Fight not going to get made on here. So, basically, Crawford, you know, said what he said. We talked about it last night. Keep defending him because I'm telling y'all. He said a fight not going to get made on here. At the end of the day, I've seen fights get made on social media, but he's probably right. The fight not going to get made on, on social media, all right? But my whole thing about it is he came to your face, and you had all these excuses. You know what I'm saying? He came to your face, you had every excuse in the book. Oh, I got to do this. Oh, I got to do that. I want me to do this. Oh, That's a valid point. You saying you a boss? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, he tried to be go behind the scenes and, and talk to them. They tried to funk sway with y'all. They tried to he he pulled up on you at the uh, Hooker Sacedo fight. You talking about you got to do this, do that in the third. Even before that, you went on Negro Fight Fan TV saying, "Oh, Chestnut Checkers," and I ain't looking at him right now. I'm trying to get the easy belt first. I'm trying to go the easy route. Come on, man, he's suspect. He suspect you. Any other time you on social media talking junk and saying what you going got to say, and then you go rogue. You go rogue, man. Of course, the fight not gonna get, the fight not gonna get made nowhere if you don't want to make the fight. We didn't get we didn't have fights get made on social media. We didn't got fights get made at press conference. We didn't we just seen dudes hawk people down. It shouldn't have to go to social media. And people saying a knuckle dragger for nine saying, well, you know, there's somebody running his account and this and that and the third. I don't care who running the account. I don't care if he's saying it, his mama saying it, his sister saying it. At the end of the day, make the fight happen. Everybody want to defend this suspect activity, but you know what I like to do on this channel? Put the foot, put the shoe on the other foot. What if Crawford was 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 Errol Spence was doing with Errol Spence position? And Errol Spence is doing this. Would you keep that same energy on uh for 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 Terrence Crawford? Yeah, you would. You, you you wouldn't. You wouldn't defend Terrence Crawford. Y'all be saying, smoke him out, Smith, smoke him out, Smith. See, I'm a real one, though. Regardless, when I thought Crawford was the one that was ducking, I was like, man, Crawford don't want that smoke. When I found out from real sources, high in PBC, high with top rank, high with sanctioned belt bodies, these dudes ain't got no reach. They go to these, these fights and they hold their cameras and nobody talk to them because they lames. And they don't know nothing. And he said he goes on. It sounds good. Only time I hear your ish is social media. Don't act like a boss. Not like he don't he don't handle his own ish. We been told Joe Handler by what it would make to take the fight happen. Don't choke off smoke, dude. At the end of the day, bro. At the end of the day, we know what you said what it take make to take the fight happen. You know what it'll take. It's gonna take him going to the to 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 Mount Everest and getting the first ball of bar, first ball of snow. It's gonna take him to build a Home Depot center in the middle of fucking Africa. You know, in the middle of, in the middle of Ghana. He gonna have to go for, find the first Homo sapien ever made. He gonna have to cure AIDS, cure all ten thousand forms of cancer, and learn thousands of martial arts like he fucking Bruce Wayne. We know what it is. We heard what you said. You want to get the easy belt versus Sean Porter and go the easy route. That wasn't so easy. You wait on Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao, if you and Pacquiao was going to fight, it's the perfect time to fight right now after you get off a car accident. Pacquiao ain't looking at you. He probably about to fight Mikey Amir Khan or Danny Garcia. Not even Danny Garcia. Mikey or Amir Khan. Then he going to try to roll into a Floyd Mayweather fight. So then, then what? You trying to get all the belts. We heard your plan before. 
We heard it. You know what I'm saying? We've been told, Joe, who is we? You your own boss. Terrence Crawford ain't never came out and said, I'm my own boss. I'm, I'm CEO at top rank promotions. Everybody know you, you holding up to fight, bro. Everybody know cuz holding up to fight. This, 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 this is, I mean, this is a joke. You know what I'm saying? Only time I hear, no, you heard when he came to your face. When he found you, you said, I don't answer my phone, I don't know that number. When he came to your face, he told you. What you talking about the only time you hear your shit? Crawford been taking it easy on him. He been taking it real easy on him. Oh, who ducking the fight? What'd he say? Oh, you know, no, no, Earl not ducking the fight, it's business. If it's enough money to make the fight be made. Now, Wilder, Wilder across the street. Wilder across the street. He going to ESPN. Yeah, Fox is co-promoting it, but or co-networking, but Fox Fox not handling the tickets. That's ESPN. They're handling the venue. They're handling the media credentials. they producing the pay-per-view. All that. Fox just got four fights on the card. And so do top rank on the undercard. Three prelims. For Fox, or no, three pre three three prelims for Fox PBC, three prelims for for ESPN, one fight on the televised card for PBC, one televised card for ESPN Top Rank, PBC uh, Fox. At the end of the day, this fight bigger domestic. I don't care about internationally. I don't care about the inter Nobody say, oh, what was the international pay per views for, you know, Errol Spence and Mikey Garcia. Nobody cares in America. He's the only time I hear your sh No, he don't, this is the first time he's speaking on social media. All the times you, you talk out your butt on social media. Remember that time he had his shirt off in there with his boy? Talking about, I beat Terrence Crawford, but ain't nobody scared of nobody from the Omaha, Nebraska. I beat Canelo up. You the one on social media running your mouth. You know what I'm saying? You the one that was... Running your mouth. Well, I'm going to knock you out. Man down, man down. I want anybody. Oh, tell Terrence Crawford to get a belt. He get a belt. I'm going to take that belt. I want to be undisputed. You said that. You didn't say before I had to get the belts in alphabetical order. You didn't say that. I'm going to go get Jeff Horn belt. You said I got all the sound clips, bro. Now you're trying to do damage control 13 hours later when a nigga sleep or a nigga taking his kids to school. Now you want to post. But you was just retweeting what his sister said. All of a sudden, you want to, like Houdini, you want to disappear. Man, you suspect, dog. You suspect. Let me talk to him, man. That's why I made this video long. Let me talk to him. You sit here, and you and somebody, and, and everybody tweet this at him, dog. However you want to do it. You want to screen record it. This part in particular, at the seven minute, thir seven, uh, seven minute, almost eight minute mark. All right? Tweak put to this part to him. You sat there and you was crying for years about how you couldn't get a big fight. You were sitting here crying for years how dudes was doing you wrong. How 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 Sean didn't want to fight you after you beat Kell Brook, but he's willing to fight Kell Brook. How how you couldn't get a fight after you beat Kell Brook. Colazo pulled out. Keith didn't want to fight you. Danny was running from you for years. And all of a sudden, the dude that want to give you a, a, a career to find a fight that'll give you the best one on your, on your on your resume, bigger than many Pacquiao. Pacquiao don't mean nothing, bro. You beat Pacquiao, how? How can you beat Pacquiao in a way that hasn't been done? He been out box. He been stopped three times. He been stopped by one punch. He been stopped to the body twice. What can you do? What can you do? All you doing is pricing yourself out. You not a star. All right, you was done wrong. They was freezing you out, right? They froze you out, and now, and now, now you done, you didn't got a little status, and now you 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 fighting these leftover fighters after they don't have no choice. Now you want to act brand new. But where was that free smoke mentality, that mama mentality that you had two or three years ago? All of a sudden, that money didn't change you. You Keith Thurman Jr. You Keith Thurman's son. You doing the same thing that Keith Thurman did. First, when you wanted to fight everybody, you was on offensive. You know, Keith wanted to fight Paulie, Mayweather, all of that. And all of a sudden, you know, the, you know, the politics took the fire out of him. You ain't nothing but Keith Thurman's son. You the same person, Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman was blowing hot fire too. He was coming pulling up on people, and as soon as somebody came to rival Keith Thurman that he knew he would have trouble with, like you, 
he bagged up. He bagged down. He started playing the politics. He started playing the A side, B side. He started dipping and dodging. He wrecked this car versus Sean Porter, pushed it back. He got injured, took two years off. You know, at the end of the day, you do this. You the same thing person as Keith Thurman. You Keith Thurman Jr., though. All of a sudden, you on the offensive blowing fire, and all of a sudden, now look at you. Now somebody won't smoke a lightweight. This ain't no bigger man calling Earl Spence out. This ain't Canelo saying, come up to my weight class. This ain't J-Rock saying, come up to my weight class. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's your weight class. You a 154-pounder at 47 running from a lightweight. You ever seen a pit bull run from a Bijan? You ever seen a pit bull run from a Chihuahua? That's what you looking like. That's what you looking like. All that, all that tough talk you was talking, man, you was a suburban boy, man. You ain't cut like this, man. You somebody in football that wasn't good in football, couldn't hack it. Now look at you now. You made, you made, you finally made some money, and now you don't want to fight the best. You running from a lightweight, bro. You use a pussy cat running from a mouse. That's what you is, bro. That's what you looking funny in these streets, man. We don't care about that accident. You said I'm the king of forty-seven. No tune-ups, no can of tune-up fish. That, that's you said. If you said I need a tune-up, we all would have understood. Even though that was a self-inflicted wound, what you did. But we all make mistakes. We're not holding it against you. But you're going to sit here and drag a fight out. You've been in a weight class almost your entire career. You came down from 54. You you masquerading at, at 47. You trying to milk 47. And you running from a dude that had moved up twice? I don't care how long you've been pro. Eight years is whatever it was. 10, 12, 13 years. 14, I don't care what it is. When you were you the... King of 47, how the king duck his smoke? Like I said the other day, when a Black Panther got challenged, he had to accept the challenge to, to, to keep his throne. If you the king, come on, accept the challenge. You throwing out all these, all these, all these, all these, because you need these concessions and you, you need, you need purified water from the Alps. You know, you need, uh, 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 a king size bed. You need a platinum pillowcase in your locker room. You need an Xbox 360, Xbox One, and Super Nintendo, PS18. You need all these concessions, man. I need 6040. I need a, a Louis Vuitton suitcase. I need to stay at the greatest hotel ever invented. I need a private chopper to fly me to and from the fight. Who are you? You nobody, man. Like the rest of these fighters out here. You a dude that's doing 200,000, uh, 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 pay-per-view without Mikey Garcia, you a dude, okay, you a dude that they still giving away your tickets, Jerry Jones bought your tickets at Mikey versus Mikey, they still giving away your tickets, I got the proof, I got receipts, you ain't no pay-per-view star, no star at all, they giving away your tickets, you know what I'm saying, they still moving people down and closing sections off, you ain't no star, but did you ask for 60-40 versus Keith Thurman? No. Did you ask for 60-40 versus Mikey Garcia Lightweight? No. Who didn't bring a belt to the table? No. Did you ask for 60-40 versus Can't Sell Out a Family Diner and, and Sean Porter? No. Did you ask for 60-40 versus Keith Thurman? No. You just like Keith Thurman. What's it, what's it take to make uh, the fight with Keith Thurman, uh, with uh, Terrence Bud Crawford? Keith, I know a lot of money. But you need so much money if he he he's small. If he a bum, if he garbage, why you need to, why you need 60-40? You ain't the king of nothing. Mayweather's the king of boxing. Canelo was on top of boxing. Anthony Joshua, niggas that's making 50, 80, 60 million dollars. You ain't making that type of money. You ain't in the 18, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 million dollar club, bro. You ain't, that nobody know you. You can walk through Detroit, right? You can walk through Times Square when nobody know who the fuck you was. So don't let's stop acting like you some uh, type of upper echelon type of dude in boxing. You're not an A-lister. You're not a B-lister. You're not a C-lister in the celebrity world. Nigga, you a Z-lister. It's you two people that's more famous than you. Oh, God, no. It's you two people more famous than you. Real talk. Like I said again, it's you two people more famous than you. Come on, man. You local rapper famous. 
So stop playing with people like you see, you call, oh, the fight ain't going to get made. The fight couldn't get made in person. The fight can't be made on the phone. The fight can't be made because you don't want to make the fight. First, you was free smoke. First, you man down. You ain't man down nobody in a long time, bro. You looking funny out here, man. You know what I'm saying? You got somebody that won't smoke, that can give you a career defining fight, that can give you legacy. If you could knock him out and beat him, what we waiting on? You just a mark. That's how you looking. You looking Keith Thurman Jr., man. Keith Thurman Jr. responds to Bud Crawford. That's what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to title this. Keith Thurman, because that's what he is. He ain't following the Mayweather blueprint no more. He following the Keith Thurman blueprint. Set a, a, a division his whole career in milk it when he supposed to be at 54 because he couldn't hack it up there. He'd be Erickson Lubin at minimum if he stayed at 54. But y'all know what it is, man. Good for the Sports TV. Send this to your favorite LDBC member. Local Dummy Box community. Don't forget me on Facebook. Don't forget me on Twitter. Don't forget me on Instagram. Keep sharing the videos, man. My email there. If anybody want to get in touch with me. You want smoke, let me know you want smoke. Other than that, we on all social media. Want to make a donation, I'll link the description. Send this to Earl Spence at the 8-minute mark. And y'all know what part to end it off at. Appreciate it. Cash app, PayPal, but just share the video for your boy. Don't forget to check my other channel out, Motor City Sports Talk, for more sports talk in Detroit current news. One time for the one time. Good fellow sports TV. Send us to your local, favorite local dummy box community member. We out.